Hi everyone, this is Asma Mishtaq from DW Vibes. In this video lecture, I am going to solve an end problem from the digital logic design by Maurice Mano, where you are given a particular state table and you have been asked to draw this state diagram for it. Also, you have to reduce this state table and finally you will draw the reduced state table diagram. Fine. So, in this particular state table, you can clearly see that you are given the present states which are starting from A to H, okay, and here are eight states that are present, fine. Then from the state A, you are going into the next state corresponding to X is equal to zero and X is equal to one and hence producing output accordingly, fine. So let's just draw this state diagram for this particular state table. In the first part, you are not supposed to reduce the table. So I will draw the eight states, fine. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. Okay. So, basically, you can draw the nodes randomly. I have drawn these nodes or the states randomly okay now i will start from the present state which is a at this point and for this present state a you are going into the next state which is f corresponding to input x is equal to zero so from a you are moving moving to f so that's why i will draw an arrow from a to f fine and when input is equal to zero output is also equal to zero so first i will write the input then slash output fine so this was the next state for the a when input was equal to zero now when input is equal to one you are going from a to b so input is equal to one and you are going from a to b and hence producing output is equal to zero okay now i have drawn both next states for the present state a now i will move to the Next present state which is B in this case and from here I will go into the D state. Okay, so from B you will go into D when input is 0. So from B you will go into D input is 0. Output is also 0. So from B you will go into C. Fine and output is 0 but input is equal to 1. So from B we will go into the C state when input is 1 but output is 0 from C we will go into F from C to F input is 0 output is also 0 from C we will go into E when input is 1 but output is 0 similarly we will continue like that and we will draw the state diagram for all the present states so this is basically the state diagram for the whole circuitry and you can take the same approach just like I did uh, for drawing the initial states all right. After solving that the next step is to reduce the state table and for that we need to identify the states in this particular state table that are identical to each other. Now what is meant by identical? By the identical states we mean that we have to look for the states that are producing that are going into the same states for the same inputs and producing the same output outputs okay so if you look clearly or closely at the state table you can see that the state d and h both are going into the similar states g and a when inputs are 0 and 1 and producing the same outputs 1 and 0 so from here we have identified the two similar states d and h and what i will do now i will eliminate this state from the state table because h is equivalent to d and wherever h is coming i will replace it by d and in this way our state table will be shrinked by one row so this is basically the updated state table where i have removed the row h from the previous table and while representing or writing down the next states for the present state g i have replaced h by d as it can be noticed clearly over here fine now 
द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू आइडेंटिफाई अगेन दिस सिमिलर स्टेट्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम ओके सो इफ यू लुक एट द स्टेट बी एंड एट द स्टेट ई दे बोथ आर प्रोड्यूसिंग अगेन द सेम आउटपुट्स गोइंग इन टू द सेम स्टेट डी एंड सी एंड प्रोड्यूसिंग द सेम आउटपुट्स ओके सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन सी और यू कैन राइट बी इज इक्वल टू ई एंड नाउ अगेन आई विल इलिमिनेट द रो ई फ्रॉम द स्टेट टेबल एंड वेयर एवर ई इज कमिंग आई विल राइट बी इन प्लेस ऑफ इट ओके ओके सो we have eliminated the row e from this table and now we will update our table accordingly so we will have f then b uh, d fine then f then g since i am not going to write the e row so that's why i will have f and g and wherever e will come i will replace it by b so b as it is then c and in place of e i will write b now then i will have a then b and finally d okay while filling the last column i will have 0 0 then 0 1 1 0 and similarly 0 0 0 0 one and one all right so this is the updated state table again we will look for the similar or the repeated states and here you can see that the state a c and f seem identical how because they both they all are going into the next state say which is f and b but for the states f the output is different okay so only a state and the c states are identical because although they are going into the similar states but f is not producing the similar output it is producing one one output so that's why a is equal to c state and now what i will do i will eliminate this column from this this row from the state table and the updated state table will look like this okay so this is our updated state table and from here we can now clearly see that none of this state is actually repeated and this is the reduced state table now the next step or the final step is to draw the state diagram of this reduced state table and for that we will first draw the present states which is a b d f and g and again we will take the same approach just like we took initially so from the present state a we will go into the next state f when input is 0 but output is also 0 from a we will go into b but this time input is 1 and output is 0 now from the present state b we will go into the state d for the input 0 output is also 0 then from b we will go back into the a input 1 but output is 0 from d you will go into g for the input 0 but output 1 this time and from g you will go back into g for the input 1 but output 0 okay from f you will go into f for the input 1 and output for input 0 and output 1 from f you will go into b from the input 1 and output is also equal to 1 and finally from g you will go into g for the input 1 and output 0 and from g you will go into b for the input 1 and output is also equal to 1 so this is basically the final reduced state table diagram of this particular problem thank you for watching